Let's quickly touch on the upcoming fight this weekend. Tiafimo Lopez, Jermaine Ortiz. Um, Tiafimo's a minus $700 favorite, plus $450 on um, Ortiz. Uh, be interesting to see how Lopez looks here. He's had fights where he's looked dramatically different, better and worse, depending on what his uh, seemingly emotional state is. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, Tio does this coming weekend. What are you looking for in this one? You never know these guys that are undefeated. I think he's 16-1 now, Jermaine Ortiz. But you never know, Ken, how they're going to hold up on a big stage with the top fighters until they're there. And we found out Ortiz held up pretty good. He fought a really good fight with one of the great fighters out there. Still one of the the pound-for-pound pound top guys. He, he's getting older. He's getting a little long in the tooth, no doubt about it. But he's still, he's been a great fighter, a great champion, three different divisions. And he's still, he's still got greatness around him. Uh, even though, like I said, he is getting long in the tooth. He being Lomachenko. Jermaine Ortiz fought a really good fight and showed us in his performance with Lomachenko that he can handle himself at these levels. He's fighting a guy who's more explosive and dangerous than Lomachenko in Teofimo. Teofimo is a great talent. And again, a lot of people think, you know, now after he beat Cambosis, then he loses. I mean, after he beats uh, Loma, he loses to Cambosis. They they jumped off the bandwagon, but then he came back, you know, and he beat Taylor uh, in an in a really uh, uh, an easy win. Uh, he he fought, he beat a good solid fighter uh, and and beat him easily. Really, really dismantled him in different ways, you, you know. Um, so now he's back. He's back on top again. He's got those belts. And the only question is not how good he can be, but how good he will be on any particular night because he has had the tendencies to fluctuate in the, in the mental areas where sometimes he looks like he did with Taylor, like he did with Lomachenko, and sometimes not quite up to that and and again he's in there with good fighters so that's part of it too but where he's a little off i happen to think he's a guy that suffers from the syndrome and where and it's it's not it's not a bad thing but i happen to think teo is the kind of guy that fights up to his opposition i think that that's right if he's in there with a guy can that he fears a little bit quite frankly or respects to the level that you know hey i better you know i got something in front of me I think he's going to be the best he can be. If he's not, I don't know. Uh, take your pick. <laughs> you, 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 you might wind up with uh, yesterday's spaghetti. I don't know. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, left over in the microwave. And it's still good. Actually, I like spaghetti the second day left over. I do. I like it better. There's something about it that it's actually a little better. And I love to make a, a spaghetti sandwich on, on two pieces of bread with butter. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, if you haven't tried that, try it. You know, you have no idea what you're missing. But again, I regress a little bit. Um, I he can be up and down. When he's up, the guy with the talent that he has, I he does have some shortcomings technically. Teofimo, he does. He he could improve in certain times. He gets hit with right hands. Sometimes he doesn't use the jab enough. That he doesn't do enough off the jab, you know. But he but he's got that TNT power. He's got that that neon talent where it can pull him out of a storm. Uh, but yep. s someday you're not gonna get pulled out of the storm. Uh, you're gonna get stuck in a storm. Uh, and he and that day might have been against Cambosis. Who knows? Uh, but against Jermaine Ortiz, here's what Ortiz is. He's a guy that showed that he could be on this level by fighting the way he did with Orti with uh, Lomachenko. He's not a guy with the neon talents, with the explosiveness, with the punching ability, with, with those things that catch your eye like Tio Fimo has. But he's a solid guy. He's solid, I think, mentally, and he's solid technically. He better be solid technically because if you've got a nickname called the technician, you're supposed to be good technically. So he better be good, to, right, Ken? If you're if you call yourself the technician, bare minimum, right? 
bare minimum. You better be good technically. So he, the thing, I think that the Lomachenko fight improved him or should have improved him. I'm anxious to see how much because he's going to have to be really, really even better than he was with Lomachenko if Teofimo is at his best. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. But if he has improved off the Lomachenko fight, uh, he being Ortiz, I think it could be a nice competitive fight. And uh, and again, if uh, if Teofimo falls in love with his talent too much and just looks for the knockout, which he does sometimes, and just looks yes. for the big punch, which he does sometimes, if he does that, he could fall behind in this fight. He could fall behind and have a problem in this fight. At the end of the yep. day... What do you want? You want my picks? Tell me what uh, we're looking at. Yep, for the for the for the folks at my bookie, sure. Let's get the picks. The um, what did I say minus seven hundred on um, on um, Tio and plus four fifty on Jermaine um, Ortiz. All right, here here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna put a little peanut, uh, like Bill Krakenberger, the 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 great handicapper in Las Vegas. Um, like Alan Boston, who's also a great handicapper, but he's not in Vegas, but I think about the two guys. But Billy Krakenberger, Crackman, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use his, you know, the terms he used. I'm going to throw a peanut. I'm going to throw a little peanut and take that plus 400. What's it, plus four and change or 400? Plus, three, plus 390 now on my bookie, but yeah, basically. All right. All right, I better get in first before it drops even more. <laughs> my God. As um, soon as I start saying Ortiz is good, what happens? His line starts dropping. You imagine <laughs> this, Ken? Against we, us. we carry a lot of... Uh, we yield a lot of weight over here, apparently. Uh, That's right. We, 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 we seem to um, get hurt out there in the boxing community. Um, Small on Ortiz. What about over-under? For the over, you got to lay 260, 10 and a half rounds. Under, plus 175. Is anyone going to stop the other? Uh, what is the what is the round, uh, the time? 10 and a half. 10 and a half. Okay. So I'm going to put a little peanut on Ortiz. First of all, let me make it clear. I think that Teofimo is going to win. But I'm going to, you're going to give me those lines or well, at least I favor Teofimo. But if you're going to give me that line, I'm going to take the plus 400 or so uh, with a little peanut, hoping that I catch lightning in a bottle, uh, that, that Teofimo's a little off. Uh, you know, he takes him for granted maybe a little bit, and I'm going to catch plus 400. As far as the under over, look, the logical bet for me, he's a good technical fighter, Ortiz, Teofimo's good puncher, but sometimes he takes off a little bit in between round, uh, rounds off a little bit where, like I said, he's he's not using the jab enough. He's not doing the things to set up the knockout enough. Sometimes I can see this fight going over. And obviously the bookmakers, they see it that way. That's why they line. In that case, you want Ortiz by decision is plus 675. Uh, really? I'm going to yep. take that then. I'm glad you said that. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take Ortiz by decision uh, rather than plus 400. Give me plus 675. Yep. I'll take the right. same. Same. I'm looking for the same outcome. So I might as well take yep. more money. So I'll take more money on that side. I love it. I love that option with, with my bookie. Good job, my bookie. I'm going to take that. You got <laughs> me. I'm going to take a little something on that. Forget about the... You know, forget about the four to one. I'm gonna take the the six, whatever, seventy five, whatever. And even though my logic tells me, and the lines tell me they're right, that it probably will be an over bet or an overplay. Um, I'm gonna take I I'm gonna take that buck seventy five. Is that buck seventy five I get uh, on the under? Yep. I'm gonna take That's the buck. Right. I'm gonna take the buck seventy five in the chance, in the chance that Teofimo catches him and could stop him a little earlier. I don't. I don't think it's gonna work the other way around. But I think there's a chance that maybe, even though I like Ortiz, there's a chance that Teofimo could catch him with the power that he has. So I'll do a little play on the under, and I'll do, I'll do a little play on the. Uh, on Ortiz by decision.